Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Diablo Free. My name is Wilfred. So my wife and I will be traveling to Hong Kong for holiday a week. Um, so you will not be seeing any videos coming up from this channel for a week. Do not be alarmed. We are just having fun somewhere outside nutrition. Um, so now this season 17 is rather interesting. Um, you got to experiment different kind of builds. Some like it, some may not. Like my wife, uh, she's finding it a little bit uh, disruptive to, to have to try out so many builds. Um, uh, but I'm fine. I, I like I like you know the variety of it and uh, just you know being encouraged to do something different. I think it's pretty cool. So I've spent there about forty hours with my Necromancer, uh, and the record wise, I've done a Greater Rift eighty uh, in eight and a half minutes. Now, by no means this is a fast time. But what is remarkable about this is that first of all, it's a um, Legacy of Nightmare kind of build each kind of build and the second of all i have not augmented any gear uh, at all um in in this season so far because i haven't really decided what i want to play what i want to do so you know the, the reason why i'm pushing for the necromancer just to get my kind of like season journey done so more or less there i'm conqueror two more level to go um two more chapters to go and the uh, mainly just to get the conquest done so that is uh, my game so now in this video i'm going to share with you my progress as always in this season 17 uh the build that i'm geared to use to get to greater rift 80 so far with no um no no ancient items i mean sorry no 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 ancient being augmented so now this season uh, you have the um community event buffer which is when you have no item set bonus equipped in every ancient item you have increase your damage dealt by 750 percent and also reduce your damage taken by four percent so now because in this season you do not need to wear the pair of rings to in order to do that potentially you can have 13 slot um to achieve all this bonus now 13 slot is uh it's quite a fair bit if you have 13 ancient that is relevant to the build uh there's quite a fair bit of damage uh, reduction and fair bit of damage buffing as well um, so far for me I have 10 ancient so uh, damage re reduction is 40% and also uh, you know damage buff is uh, 7500 and you may think whoa that's a lot but actually it's not really I mean if you look at any set items uh, set bonuses like the uh, Inarius you get 10,000% of the uh, damage buff uh, now granted uh, a lot of this damage buff is uh, you know required you to do a little bit of melee kind of range but still it's 10,000 so um, the, the damage is not really that high to be honest uh, at least to me but I guess because you could potentially put in a bit more affixes onto your build and uh, sometimes it's a hit sometimes it's a miss but I think um, that makes it rather interesting um, so the I have not tried a um, legacy of nightmare kind of build before ever um so it's just that i'm kind of lazy to collect all this relevant ancient and so on but this season i'm making a uh you know some progress in it and uh, by no mean this is the, the i mean by no mean i'm i'm like uh getting the build that i want so far there's still a lot of room for improvement and uh this is the build i'm using just want to like you know pause here if anybody wants to take a screenshot whatever it is i think it's rather interesting it does give you the kind of burst damage when it comes to the land of the dead kind of thing uh, but the majors also doing pretty fantastic job as well uh you probably wouldn't use the uh, bone spike for the end game but i use i like it you know it kind of get, get you a stun you know things that give you a little bit like um <laughs> crowd control i would say um now gear wise uh like i said i mean this is no by no means the end game uh, there's still a lot of like uh improvement that i could do um so so uh the, the head item is the end and dariel visage um so it is uh, it's all right i mean i think some use it for end game i would prefer the leonic crown because the leonic crown will give me the uh you know double the damage reduction uh sorry the, the cooldown reduction that i have here uh, on the gem so that would be a really good kind of choice i would prefer i don't like this uh ancient because or this you know harm because of the 10 percent more fire damage taken so like motor like molten you know all these things are pretty bad stuff that my character will surely kind of die if you see that kind of thing coming uh the necklace wise uh, no complaint i'm using uh similar crumbs so this kind of like uh, makes sense to use that uh shoulder wise do i really need the gift of death room well yes and no i guess you know it, it does leave a corpse when the uh, mage uh, despawn but that's about it um so yeah nothing really uh to shout about 
Then the uh, chest item is kind of nice. Uh, Devour, restore additional essence and life. And in addition, all the assets will then carry forward to increase your essence um, th over three seconds. In short, that would mean that temporarily your pool of essence will then increase. And uh, that will further buff your singularity mage because it kind of like, you know, we consume all the essence and... Uh, and, uh, and the damage is increased by 3% of every point of essence consumed. So that is, uh, I think, all in all, it's a, it's a pretty decent kind of chess item. Uh, Belt-wise, Witching Hour is the most DPS belt that you can find because I don't think there's any other um, that synergize with the build that I'm having here. Um, the the, uh, the the pants wise I mean, this is just for the ancient sake of ancient, uh, the 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 affixes uh, or the orange text doesn't do anything to me. I don't use Bone Spirit. Uh, there may be other options that I, I should explore rather than this one here. Now, I have um, tried to get ancient items for this one. It's really hard. This is the Reaper's Wrap. Uh, if once you defeat the Matheo, the uh, in story mode or in adventure mode, uh, you will get a plan, and the plan will then you know take on the bounty materials, two of them, Act 2 and Act 3 bounty material for you to craft one of these. I have crafted 30 of them. None of them is uh, is an ancient. I don't get it. I mean, I thought the prob probability of getting an ancient is 1 in 10. That's what I thought. But apparently, this isn't my, uh, my, my RNG is pretty bad. So you just don't get it. I mean, I spent 30 of them. I said, well, forget it. I mean, you know, I, I have had enough because it just takes too long to craft uh, craft all these things into ancient. So I have what well, I have, this this one here. But it's kind of good because Health Globe kind of helped me to restore the primary resources. Um, that's about it. Man, this was the first uh, primal ancient I've got when I met my Necromancer completed the uh, GR70. It's not even an intelligent gear, it's a dexterity. So I don't know, maybe my monk can do something good about it, but for but for sure my 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 Necromancer is not really loving it. Um, I'm only using this one because of the, again, the ancient affixes, that's all. Uh, Ring-wise, I mean, I've got the uh, conversion of element, which is rather nice. If you look at it, um, you, you got close to, I mean, it's 200%. Uh, increased damage, the uh, intelligence is 500, which is the highest, crit hit rating is 6%, and that one I should lower crit damage rating to, I think, 100%. The reason why I don't, I haven't got it yet is because, uh, was because I ran out of material. I just like, this season, like, keep crafting, keep crafting, I just ran out of material. But I think once I get on, get onto it, I'll just roll this into a crit hit damage. Um, yeah, I think that should be the right thing to do. Um, I've got a Crispin's uh, sentence as well. Again, it's not really, um, I think it's useful for this build, especially when a pop land of the dead, but uh, but that's about it. I mean, the rule is pretty all right. It's not the best I have there. Um, then the, 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 the fit is pretty interesting. Um, it makes it a really good, equipment or gear for you to do speed farming or for you to do uh, bounty because your character moves really fast, constantly moving 100% increase uh, movement speed. So this is a wonderful addition to the gear. I love it. Um, then I have the uh, the, the guy here, Unjendu. Uh, Unjendu. Again, not for my build. Uh, I would prefer something else. But uh, this is what I have. And it kind of freezes uh, target when below 18%. So I don't know. It's I think in higher rift is probably more more better better sorry there's no more better uh then you bone ringer bone ringer is something that um uh, people just ignore the orange text because i think bone ringer is the only uh offhand item whereby you can roll crit to it um so that's why people kind of like it's one of the popular ones that people have uh and then i've got the uh the cube as well uh, let me just uh go to the cube for you cube which over here um, so the cube wise, I've got the hook, uh, shadow hook, um, every point of maximum essence increase my damage by a certain percentage. Uh, I, I think I may have other options, but yeah, whatever. Um, Tasca and Theo is something that I should wear because if I wear Tasca and Theo here, then I could uh, free up a slot for empty slot here, whereby I can put like a nemesis or um, or something else that will help me uh, to do more DPS or defense or so on. So it's something that I'm still waiting to get like, like a Tasta Teal, an ancient version and or I crafted one of it myself, which is getting a little bit harder this season. I don't know why my luck is really terrible this season. Uh, Ring-wise, I've got this circle of uh, Nalu Evo. Um, it's, it's nice because that is for my additional mage. 
But uh, you know, that, I think that is the reason. I mean, that's also one of the reason why my character feels a little bit like a fragile as well because um, it just don't have that much uh, damage reduction kind of like uh, things there not even unity ring uh, because i you know all these rings are kind of useful for the build so i don't want to drop them that means that you know sometimes i do have defeat uh, but that's just the way that the necromancer goes you give death you also receive death i guess uh whatever mm, okay so now the the one that i really would like to use is the sync of the cycle um then my build can switch to a more boom armor kind of build and make it a little bit more durable because that will give me another like maybe 40% of the, uh, no, 30% of, well, 45% of uh, damage reduction because you have you can have 15% uh, if so you wish to. Um, so, I mean 50 stacks if you so you wish to. Each stack is 3% without the Inarius set. So yeah, that's 45%. But that means to say that I won't be able to using this guy here because I will be using the Kailan, uh, which is this one here. Mm, that's one option. I mean, uh, then I won't be using a Similaran. I'll be using the Bone Armor um, that use this guy to buff or whatever that it is. So it's always trade off. You can't be know. Um, so yeah, th it is what it is. So now the uh, you need to this season is of course a new torment. So I'm going to play a little bit torment. Reason why? Because you know when I play Greater Reef, I always want to rush and um, and uh, I, will, I will take my time just explain the game to you a little bit. So I'm going to do a level kind of like a torment. 15 which is right about 70 um so it's a greater rift 70 cup equivalent of a torment uh of a nephilim cup riff and the good thing about this is that um it, the good thing about it is that uh you know it's a lot of good loot as well uh when you do a torment like uh 14 15 and even 16 and they give you more keys as well so okay so now the um you know i've got program programmable mouse so i met up with straight dupe for lunch and he asked me have you have i used a toggle you know you know my mouse i said oh i can do that i didn't know that so i've i've set it up so now my i i can i don't have to press the button for devour i can just toggle it and it'll just keep devour, devour for me so it's wonderful it's a bit noisy but uh it kind of worth it So this is Similaran, uh, Similagram, and the uh, it's nice. Uh, a lot of things just die. So the uh, the health group, you know, uh, is good because I get to. Ooh, wow. So now I'm shielded. So the health group kind of helped me to to recover my uh my, my essence as well, so that is nice. So now I have I'm shielded, so it's just a matter of getting the uh Getting the uh, elite group that I have here, a little bit of looting as well. Good thing about the uh, the pet build is that you could do stuff while the pet does the damage as well. So yeah, and as you can see, I mean this guy is running really fast, so it's really nice. I love it. Um, so that's done. Um, all right, so I just uh, run a bit, and yeah, I'm still shielded. Just looking for the next elite pad. Ooh, there's a rubber band somewhere. I don't know why this season I feel that the uh, the um, the game's a bit sluggish. Uh, sometimes it does rubber band. Sometimes it does lag a little bit. Maybe it's an extra stash. Uh, they really. I mean the technology maybe is a little bit uh, too too ancient. Just can't handle the uh, <laughs> the extra kind of like a stash. It's kind of funny because if you look at like Path of Exile, they have like insane amount of like um like a stash, but it doesn't really hurt the performance. Uh, but somehow in Diablo, you know, having extra stash kind of like a uh, ooh wow. Having extra root, uh, stash will affect the uh, performance of the of the game, especially when everyone is having uh, extra extra stash. Now I've got maximum number of stash, so maybe that's why I'm being punished by uh, <laughs> by having a rather sluggish kind of like a uh, gameplay. I don't know. It's just weird.
Yeah, I mean I have to uh, be mindful a little bit because it does, it does, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes uh, what ahead can just like uh, one shot you, especially in a higher difficulty, uh, it happens that way, um, unfortunately. So I play a little bit of greater with uh, 80, 80, and uh, you know it's very rare that I stay on I mean, you know, I, I would probably get defeat one or two times, uh, but you know, one in one, one in five rip. Rift, uh, maybe is uh, is a clean rift, but uh, other than that, is uh, is not really that happier uh, of a clean rift. So well, you know, it is what it is. Why well, I won't touch this one guy here? Okay. So. Uh, is that the one? You can... No! Okay, yes! I... <laughs> How do I click? Well, unfortunately, there aren't really a lot of mobs in this map, so it's not that exciting for you guys. But, uh, I mean, just to demonstrate to you that the... Um, it does have quite a fair bit of, uh, of good loot. I mean, you get a legendary every other card drop, so it's very nice. Um, very, very nice. And my movement speed is fantastic. All these chests, I bet you there are some that will have uh, legendary uh, in it. So, oh, a bit of like a uh, poison. So be careful. See, one ancient here, and uh, uh, no, I mean one legendary, another legendary. So I mean it is good. The the uh, you know the reward is there for the normal riff. So you know in the past I don't really enjoy playing normal riff. But now I don't mind, uh, especially, I mean, I can, it's, a, it's a good possibility that I can get like 3, ooh, wow! Uh, it's a good possibility that I'll get uh, like, a, like a number of runes here. I mean, the, the key, sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's useful. So, how many keys I have? I have like uh, 1, 2, 3, I think 3 keys, so that is... Uh, that's basically what I wanted, alright? So that is it. And let me see whether I have some good kind of like um, loot or not. Almost full, my bag. And sometimes if I play like a six with my friends, uh, you know, two, even with two people because of you know better job when you have two people, uh, you will end up like not enough space to for one rift, uh, normal rift itself, alright? So now, um, oh, I got an ancient version of the Wisdom of Galan. Let's see whether it's a good one or not. Well, unfortunately, it's not that great. But that would do. I mean, uh, I don't mind. It's, it's, a, it's a good one. So it's something that I would use. Uh, I would use. So that's good. Uh, I've got another one, Inarius uh, Understanding, which is this guy here, which is, uh, could be better than the one I have here. So usually I do some comparison uh, to see. So this is uh, oh, Creed. And the uh, yep, so this is definitely bah, so I can just uh, replace that. Uh, but the rest of it, um, nothing really there to shout about. The uh, um, oh, I've got a broken promise, <laughs> maybe that is for my uh, you know, for my for my monk, not um, so yep, yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoy your season 17. Like I said, I will not be around um, uh, for a week or so holidaying in Hong Kong, so yeah, I mean, uh. But if you drop a comment here, I will reply. I don't know why, where's my pet? I've got a pet, um, you know, the Groot. Yep, so he came back to me. So sometimes, you know, I do always wondering who's pick up, picking up the gold. Uh, he's, the guy is not there. So I guess this is having a mind of his own. All right, see you. Bye.